Look at this. Look at this. Verse 22, 23, Caleb. This is funny how he words this, especially coming from a guy who says things backwards quite often. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your, bo your whole body would be full of light. What he's saying is, if your body is full of light, your eyes will be healthy. Your eyes aren't collecting what's determining. Well, they are, your ears and eyes. If you can see in the spirit, God says, I can change the inside. However, in this context, he's talking about what's going on in here is shining out through here. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about being the window to the treasure, and whether that's my treasure or the world's treasure, it's a window, and if it ain't shining bright, it's shining the world's treasure, which is dark, because we know it doesn't lead to real happiness. It's just a perception. 23 says, but if your eyes are unhealthy, the whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, he says, that's pretty dark. Just like that. How great is thou darkness? 2024, that's pretty dark, is what he's saying. Your eyes aren't causing it. Your heart is causing it. However, what you let in is what comes out. So maybe you're watching the wrong stuff online because it's a two-way window. When you look through a window, they can see you and you can see them. Even, yes, with the mere tinting, if it's dark out, tinting doesn't work. If it's dark out, trust me, I've tried it. They can see you. You can see them. So if you're asking God to bring you happiness and you're asking God to bring you joy and now you've gotten your heart in the right condition, yet you're still looking at the garbage that's changing the soil to darkness... What do you think is going to happen? You're going to reproduce it. You're going to reproduce what you take in. I didn't even want to preach on that. That isn't what the message was about here. The message was about was the result of actually that, collecting it in. Now you're storing it up, and now that's what's coming out of you, and people see it through the windows of your soul, your eyes. The eyes are the witness to the heart condition. The heart condition defines where your treasure is. That's why light and treasure work together. So my question today, what are you shining through these when you leave here? Does anybody else like to go to lunch and then just have someone really crabby say something and you're like, I oh, wasn't church so good? And then it's like, bam, my food's not good. Boom. Did you see that guy on the road? I've done it. You can, you can laugh about it because I've done it. And uh, that's why I had to start a church because I wanted to get away from that thing. I really wanted to get to where I felt like God was with me in the journey, not just on Sundays. And I felt like the people I was with, this was a long time ago, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just venting now, that, that we left it in the building when I would go. And then I'm like, well, what happened to Acts? What happened to the book of Acts? What happened to love thy neighbor as thyself? Versus give them a wave in the car with the fingers, uh, something like that. I don't know. You know, they, it's different, right, Mike? It's different. So that's dangerous. What are we shining? That's a light. That's some kind of light. If it's not God's light, what is it? What kind of light is it? Is it a blue light? Is it a black light? Is it a headlight? Come on, somebody. Anybody know what lights are? What are we shining? Uh, this is even really good. Now we're getting really good. Can we make it really personal? What are we shining on Sunday morning at church? And then what are we shining since we leave this place? Does anybody know anybody whose lights change colors? <laughs> I'm, I'm preaching to myself here. That's why I can laugh about it. What do we shine? If it's not God's light, what is it? So how do we fix it? The connection between light and treasure is that one determines the other. When we understand fully God's eternal treasure, our darkness, our problems, or whatever is keeping us there will diminish. It will. God's word can overcome anything. Please don't be one of these Christians that says, I know God is able, but he doesn't understand my situation. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. 
then what kind of God, G-O-D, is he? That means he's fallible. God is infallible. He's perfect. He has no beginning. He has no ending. He has no counselor. No one tells him what to do. So, you got to understand, if you want to get it out, you got to rearrange it. Look at some things different. Look at what can I do for God this week versus what can I buy this week or what can I be frivolous this week about? Rearrange your thinking for your week. God starts changing the condition the soil, and the soil starts saying, this is a different kind of treasure that maybe you, you didn't know was even valuable to you until you got all the other things, and they still didn't work. God says, the treasure I had for you is free. It's a gift. You got to have it, but it's a free gift. It's like the coffee here. It's free, but you got to have some coffee for church, or you'll be sleeping when I'm preaching. We can't have that, so we give out Starbucks. It's free, but you got to have it. Even if you put the sweet stuff in it, fine. Even you people. You got to have it. When we understand eternal treasure, the darkness that we've been shining will start diminishing. What's your perception of happiness today? Some of y'all think the light's not in you. Then ask God to fill you with his light, and he will. That's the Holy Spirit. Some of you got the light in you, and you decided to throw a blanket over it for the last 25 years because someone in church said something mean to you about what you were wearing or something like that, or they were mean, and you left it all on the table because of something silly like that, and God says, what do they know? The light is still in there. I didn't give you a light to waste it. Take the blanket off of it. Shine your life, the Bible says. Shine it. Darkness and light. You know what's funny? Light always beats darkness. You don't go in the room and turn the darkness on. You turn the light on to defeat the darkness. So when you're battling, which one am I shining today? I don't know, it's pretty dark in here. I want to be a white light. I want to be a bright light, but I, I want to be an LED light. I want to be some kind of light, but it's so dark in here. Remember, the light always wins. The light always wins. And if you've got the word, in God in, the word of God in you, you've become pregnant with this word. Guess what? The light is brewing in you and is meant to start shining through the windows of your heart. 